Today I'm going to uh, very shortly speak about uh, three projects. As you see, red, green, blue. Um, the top one is uh, urban design, uh, green is a landscape, and then blue is architecture, corresponding to shared development between public body and then private bodies. And then uh, shared space is more like a landscape design, and then shared office, as this, this uh, describes. Uh, first, about uh, master plan in Leiden station area in the Netherlands. Um, we've been uh, working last seven years together with the uh, city of Leiden, but also a group of private developers uh, together, actually. So let me first explain the, how the Leiden look like. You see, a uh, station is right in the middle, and where the blue area, this is very famous, uh, known for its uh, biomedical sciences uh, institute and universities. And in contrast, on the other side of the station uh, is uh, old, romantic, beautiful uh, city center of Leiden. And but the subject of our master plan is uh, space in between. It is a quite uh, horrendous space, uh, dominated by the infrastructure, bus terminal. There's lack of human scale. So our mission was, so this is the current situation, uh, how to uh, set up the wedding for these two entities together at the spot of the uh, station, basically. And this is how our master plan look like. So this is the area. And uh, finally, the plan has been approved by the city council like uh, a year ago. And probably this block will be under construction the end of this year. So we set up a couple of rules, uh, urban design guidelines, actually, for the developer who comes later to develop parcel by parcel. So we still stay as a supervisor for the process. Uh, of course, we are hired by the city of Leiden to basically check every development and to supervise basically the process. So these are a series of guidelines and then uh, image of the new uh, station square. And this is the first building. These are all the illustrations we have created for the master plan to explain the master plan uh, to citizens, city councils, etc. Public space. So next project is uh, much smaller. And this is about public space in small town in Belgium called Machelan. So subject is this existing public space. It looks kind of fine, some green trees, but nobody goes there and sit there. Why? Because this is completely dominated by the car traffic, and then there is even no bench to sit. So this is just a space to pass by. So what we have done is basically we uh, change the priority order of this uh, space. So this space has been dominated by the cars. So we gave a priority to uh, people and then bikes and green. Conceptually, what we have done is let's first make everything green, let's suppose, and then start thinking where do you need to uh, pave. So we reverse the approach. We first start thinking everything is green, and then we start uh, rolling this uh, brick carpet where you need to cross. So the project has been executed uh, last year. And this is the last project. I, I said architecture, but actually uh, not really, only architecture. This is the combination uh, between urban design and landscape and architecture all together. And this project is in Prague. 
I must say, uh, sadly, the, we have lost this comparison. But I think it's still worth to show you what we have done here. And then uh, what's important is that uh, this is a private development, uh, while because of the importance of the uh, location and also the scale is really large. So it's about 45,000 square meter floor space of the space. So uh, the Prague 6, the city was quite involved in the process. So the location is right here. It's a very interesting spot uh, because this is the knot where three axes meet. One is a, a main road connecting from Prague city center to the airport. Second is a new metro line. So our site is right at the spot of the new metro station. This is one of the reasons why city uh, spend their energy onto this project, because this is very important for the neighborhood. And then third is this uh, historical uh, axis connecting uh, uh, Prague Castle in the center to the castle at north. So this is very interesting that the all three axes uh, are meeting at this point. Let's zoom into the site. So this has a triangulated site, and then north of the site, big road running through. This is the connection between city center and then airport. If you look at what's happening around, um, this area is fully residential area, while the program is 45,000 square meter of office plus retail. So how to do that? And then because of the nature of the residential area here, all the building grains are small, all the footprints are small. And what's uh, especially amazed, uh, amazing thing for me since I'm from Holland is that this has a spectacular slope going down. It's like, you see the height difference from this here to there, which is about a couple of hundred meters, uh, 14 meters. In Holland, you have to go 300 kilometers to be able to get this high difference. <laughs> so we were excited, how can we use this slope? And, and this is how our uh, project looks like at the end. So this spot, this is where the metro station uh, exit. So you come out the metro and we have made uh, public space uh, because there's hardly any public space in this area, so we created some sort of little town square. And there is this green axis leading you all the way to the city center there in Prague. And this probably illustrates you a bit easier, uh, or give you a feeling uh, what I mean by the uh, uh, integration between urban design and landscape and architecture. There are five principles we have uh, made for design. First one is, as I said, the lack of public space. At the spot of the metro station, we have created the square. So that's how it looks like. And then next is, uh, there are quite some greens in this neighborhood, but they're all fragmented. So we thought, okay, let's use our project to connect all the green from surrounding and meet at the spot. So this is a view from south looking upwards to, uh, so town square is right there. So we basically plant a lot of trees and greenery. I'm going to explain to you later a bit about what is these things happening there. Uh, the next is, um, I explained to you, this is predominantly residential area. So, of course, it's an, uh, inappropriate to build a mega building in this location. So, we basically cut up the building into smaller uh, volumes. So, from the street, the whole entity looks like this. And then, as I said, this is exciting part for me, uh, slope. This is the uh, main street connecting uh, airport to the city center. In contrast, this road running at the south is just a normal, quiet uh, uh, residential road. So 
we really wanted to uh, calm down the volume. So we basically slope down the volume as well. This will create nice sunny terrace looking towards uh, Prague city center. So this is how the building looks like from south side. And then please keep some attention to these green boxes. So this is here comes uh, what we call floating greenhouse. Uh, this is what I mean by the shared office. So we uh, uh, install these instruments here and there in the volumes. How it works is this works for shared space among different tenants of the office. So they can use this space for uh, having ceremony or having lecture or just having lunch together with other buddies. And also you can invite clients to meet, not in this small meeting room uh, where you don't need to talk something really secret. And so we are kind of proposing this space as a shared uh, entity for the uh, office environment. So this is the atmosphere of the space. And this is the elevation of the whole uh, building. So uh, what we try to do here is a symbiosis between urban design and landscape and architecture all together. Thank you. <laughs>